<laughs> you think you can outsmart me, puzzle? I'm doing it. Give it, uh, how do I, sp yeah, one of these, and then an R. Ha! That's not the right answer. Crud, I don't know then. What do many students love other than the teacher Kawakami? Let's try, uh, <laughs> except to remember how to spell the word on the fly. This might be my weirdest intro yet. Uh, anyway, I refuse to be outsmarted by a simple, non-block puzzle. Yeah. After a puzzle that tough, I need a vacation. The most popular vacations for both school and business take place in the summer. The length of time off depends on the prefecture. Japan also has another vacation period in the autumn. It lasts three to seven days, significantly shorter than summer vacation, but still much below. All right. I see. Yeah. Summer vacations for me were always, uh, we can't afford babysitter, so you gotta just stay indoors. And stunk. But it didn't, it could've been worse, you know. I could've not had awesome video games to play. <laughs> but tonight, guys, we're paying a visit to Miss Mifune in the Red Light District. We want to start advancing her confidant because, like all the other confidants, the more work you put into her, the more benefits you get out of it. You think I like her or something? Why else would I talk to her? I sense that you have trouble with women. What? There was a woman last time, too. Wait, is that? Uh, anyway, please be careful. Nah, she's... I don't know her. Uh, well, then, what would you like to do? A test. It doesn't make it apparent, but yeah, that's the confidant. I will surely figure out your trick. We'll see about that. Yeah, we already made the persona long before. Oh, I was just about to do a reading for a client, so please stay and watch. Okay, I guess I'm... Uh bring your friend to work day or something. I'm just standing there. Good evening. Hello there, Mifune-sensei. I can't wait for today's session. Your last prediction was practically perfect. It's a lot of peas in that sentence. Uh, by the way, who's this boy? <laughs> oh, you needn't mind him. That's just my apprentice. Uh, if anything, you can think of him as a human-sized stuffed animal. I mean, look how fluffy his hair is. Stop, you're making me nervous. Uh... Hello. Wait, so he's okay with working for a woman, even though he's a guy? Uh, yeah? Something like that is just unthinkable in my line of work. Um, I take that to mean something else has happened with your job. Yes, a male coworker of mine was given all the credit for a successful project I poured my soul into. <laughs> and do you know what my boss told me? He said it was just the natural order of things because I'm a woman. What? That's effed up! How terrible. That's why I'm thinking of leaving and starting my own business. I've actually been planning for some time. I'm not sure if we'll be able to find a foothold in the market, though. Here we go. In that case, let's ask the tarot. Show us the truth, O oh, divine power. <laughs> With the noise is necessary, Mifun. Ah, well, you know better than me, I suppose. <laughs> yes, I've seen everything. The cards have appeared in reverse. In other words, it seems as though your business is doomed to failure. Oh, God. Well, what should I do? I'm sorry, but in this case, it appears your fate is inescapable. Dang. In inescapable? What are your thoughts? Dude, F that! Are you even listening? Yes! I'm kind of. Uh. What shall we do? What can we do to help this woman who's so oppressed by the savagery of a male-dominated work environment? Well, first off, probably call human resources, but also, F that! Come on, girl! Screw these, screw these stupid cards! It's a little idealistic to expect that will actually work. <laughs> you never know. Incidentally, what would you say if you wanted to encourage her? Hmm... <laughs> is tempting, but no. Overturn your fate! Don't be so irresponsible. That's simply not an option. Is it? I mean, it was an option for me. How can you expect her to overturn that which is inescapable? Overturning fate? That's right. I don't have to follow the rules of this oppressive society. Yeah. I can do it. I'll reshape every aspect of my antiquated industry. Go, girl. You got this. My mind is made up. I'm going to quit my job and set off on my own private business venture. Post haste. Even if I fail, 
At least I won't be wasting away doing busy work for that sexist turd anymore. Exactly. Thank you, young man. If you excuse me, Mifune Sensei. What? Uh, uh, huh? <laughs> Saw we. You're far too irresponsible. Her misfortune has already been made clear. The cards will surely back me up on that. <laughs> Please, cards, tell this stupid man how wrong he is. Nah, they got my bag, dude. What? Uh, 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 blue eyes, white drag! Uh, it seems the sequence of cards has changed. Her financial future is now appearing as extremely successful. What did you do? Uh... Are you... Are you psychic? Did you use your powers to change the order of the cards? No. My divine power is capable of sending people like you down to the depths of hell, you know. Been there, done that. Yes, this has to be it. That's the only way this could happen. Fate cannot be changed. Fate is absolute. This house must be... <sighs> Come on. Just like, maybe your cards are wrong sometimes. Think about it. That may not be such a bad idea. But if that possibility were the truth, how could I keep my holy stone business intact? Oh yeah, about that. Uh, anyway, I've changed the flow of destiny twice now. Both times coming before my very eyes. It seems this verification process is turning out to be much more meaningful than I expected. Yeah, but can, can I get my refund? Like, for real, that's that's bugging me. I mean, I know I got my money back in mementos, but still. Come on. Jesus. <laughs> Anyways, All right. the fortune teller confidant continues to advance, and sooner or later, we'll get Mifune to see our way of thinking. You'll come back again soon, right? Promise me. I thought you hated me. Goodbye. <sighs> Girls. One second, they're telling you, yeah. You can change fate. And then they're like, no, no, you can't. Hi. I'm just not convinced about what happened today. That, see what I said? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I'm going to get right to my question. You're currently standing right in front of your house, correct? No, I'm in front of a cafe. So you're wrong. No. You got it. Good, good, good guess. See? That's exactly what my reading told me. Fate is absolute after all. <laughs> Where else am I going to go? If everyone could reverse their fate as easily as flipping a table, life would be easy. This is why I believe I need to conduct these verifications with you. So please promise me again you'll stop by my booth. Mm, okay, I'll talk to you later. Like, seriously, this is... I don't know. I, I feel, she, you know, some dude just waltzes in and is like, Oh, actually, no, your, your business plan sucks. You'd be a little insulted, but at the same time. Yo. Come on. Sup? I just heard this, but apparently we're having a summer festival soon. <laughs> or there's gonna be like kebabs and steaks, the hot stuff. Dude, I'm pumped. Well, uh, it appears you've been studying the menu instead of our assignments. You gonna be okay? Well, uh, yeah, I'll figure it out. There's some English on the website too. Oh man, now I'm hungry. Let's get going already. Ryuji, we're not in control of that. The train is not a. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, today is the day. Exams! Part two! But then we're home free. Gosh. In a way, I do miss that feeling about school where it's like, alright, like, everyone's in this together. Okay, except for Ryuji, but like, the stress of it, it's kind of. Okay, honestly, I hated it at the time. But man, when it's all over, it feels so great. <laughs> Today's the first day of your final exams. Begin! The angle C is 28 degrees and the angle is... Okay, um... I'm just gonna guess. I like Nintendo 64. That's probably the answer. Oh, we yeah, we were right. Mm. Let's see. An essay question. <laughs> this looks tough. Let's calm down and think it through. Explain the origin of Bowsy. Uh... Bowsy? In this hot weather? Well, never mind. I mean, it works. I think this came up in class. The guy who invented it was some famous dude from Romance of the Three Kingdoms? Yeah, that was, uh, Leon, pretty sure. Strategist of Shu. Hmm. I think the story is about a river overflowing somewhere he visited. And they were offering something to quell the river? Yeah. It was dude's heads! Kinda spooky. That's it. Crazy story. And that's how he came up with the Bowsy, right? Master Strategist just came up with the Bowsy too. They ran out of heads, so wait, crap. Uh, offer them instead. 
Yeah, I think you're right. The Bowsy were invented as an offering to a river spirit to replace their tradition of offering severed heads. Yep. Finished in time. Nice. Time's up. Give it up already. Only two questions, apparently. <laughs> My god. I mean, I guess the piece of paper isn't too big, but still. My exams are like that. God, I remember sometimes they just take all day. Okay, I'll stop. I don't want to scare you guys. <laughs> this is the second day finals. You may begin. Go. Now. Now. What the name of the genus of this organism? Wait, Mr. Usami didn't teach this. But that's the Red King Crab. Hi, I'm the King of the Crab. <laughs> What happened when the government issued paper and hard currencies in Japan for the first time? It caused disarray. Or confusion. That's another word for that. Yeah. My notes were technically right, but also wrong. But, uh, yeah, we still got a little bit to go. It's just right. It's not fair. Japanese students only get one day off a week. It's horse crap. Let's get started. Today's the third day. Are you ready? You may now begin. Mr. Haruda, where the frick you been? Anyway, what is the English equivalent of reigning witches, reigning cats and dogs? If you live in America, I hope you get that one right. I don't even know if people say that anymore. Which so the following is another name for the Soma Noodles. That would be Demon Guts. What's up with a series and demons, man? Actually, that's like my favorite part, actually. <laughs> or excuse me. <clears throat> Shadows and personas. There's no correlation. But uh, the 16th is your final hmm. test. And today's the last day, huh? You've seen all this before. You got this, all right? Huh. The Morgana said so. I got it too good. I'm looking forward to seeing your score. Yeah, so if you don't have level four intellect, you can't pass, but since we do, we're good. My parents are gonna kill me. There was so much stuff on that exam. I didn't have time to study everything. I probably could have managed if I had an extra week too. An extra week, huh? The only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. Oh, you mean like Yoshizawa-san? I heard the school moved her exam period. Must be nice getting perks like that. Hey there. Congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? Say, would you happen to have some free time right now? There's something I'd like to discuss. I promise it'll just take a moment. Thanks. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. Anyway, as I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Well, there's a subject where I could definitely use some input. But not at the moment. I've had something on my mind lately, and I want to hear your take on it. Okay, here goes. Oh, this is all hypothetical, mind you, but imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations. They're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Now, this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. So, what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? I agree. No matter what happens, it won't be a pretty sight. When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break, but that's easier said than done. This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. Oh, I'm not sick of this job or anything like that. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get all analytical. What I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Hmm. 
Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. This is just a thought, but what if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. <laughs> Good point. You're right. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you. And enjoy your vacation. Exams are finally over. <sighs> I'm so exhausted. Oh, I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. Nah, I was up playing video games. Slacking off is just too much fun. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. I might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <sighs> and I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever! It's over with now. Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thieves' popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? It kind of feels like our time's finally here. I've even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. We will have to choose carefully. There's no need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Hold up! The most important thing now is our celebration party. I hope you guys didn't forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say, 5 p.m. You sure are on top of these kinds of things. Thank God that's now over. Weather. Next up's the weather. It seems we'll continue to have localized torrential rainstorms all through next week. She's chipper about it. If you're heading outside, be prepared for sudden changes in the weather. Because we're an island! Isn't that awesome? I, I can relate there, but time just flew by today, huh? Yeah, no kidding. This is one of the rare days you seriously you can't do anything outside. It's kind of a pain. Can't even call Kawakami. It's about to rain. In any case, it's good the exams are over. Let's go to sleep. Yeah. Also, you can't call Kawakami because she got a great our exams, come to think of it. But hey. Hey, it's me. Sorry for calling so late. I wanted to ask you about the summer festival. You remember the one I told you about? Uh, yeah, this morning, but. <laughs> I think you might have said something about that at some point. Come on, man. Well, I know. So, ugh, dang it. Come on. The whole thing with the kebabs. You remember. Right? So, like, I completely spaced on that until now, but the festival's tomorrow. Oh, crud. I don't have a date. So, you want to go? Hmm. I do like kebabs. Yeah. Why not? Let's do it. Yeah. Heck yeah. I knew you'd be down. <laughs> Let's make sure we invite Yusuke too. He's always down to chow. Dang. Boys day out. I did just remember they said it might rain tomorrow though. So, ah, whatever. No way it's gonna rain on a day like this. See you tomorrow. All right, sounds good, man. <sighs> How would he know whether or not it'll rain? <laughs> Wishful thinking. All worked up over a silly little festival full of food of all kinds. Well, I suppose you deserve to enjoy yourself. Be sure to keep a low profile, all right? I'll do my best not to wear Let's my... turn in for the night. It's flashy vest. <laughs> oh, and uh, no sleeping in, okay? I'm gonna skip breakfast for this. Oh, dang. Going with a real empty stomach, all right. I admire the hustle. But yeah, tomorrow we get to enjoy ourselves with some of the boys. What's up? Mm. What? Why? why? Why are you staring at my face? Ryuji, I have a favor to ask. A favor? Sure, you need some money for food or something? Not this time. I've actually been mulling over a new battle tactic for a while now. And I'd like for you to lend a hand in bringing my idea to fruition. Oh, a new move? That sounds badass! I totally want in! Well, it's merely a rough idea at this point, but... 
What do you think? Wasn't that, like, way more detailed than some rough idea? <laughs> well, I don't deserve such praise. I would merely prefer to add a splash of beauty to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. Sick! So, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? We should consult Jose about this soon. However, I can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. Same here. It's so hot! It's as if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. Whose bright idea was it to come here? Yours! And just look at that crowd! Smiling faces everywhere you look. With that, let's move right into asking some of the visitors here for their comments. A TV crew, huh? We should grab our kebabs and get out of here. Ah, let's interview those three. Hey, is she talking about us? What the? What do we do? Good point. We'll look even more suspicious if we panic now. They got us! Oh, hell. Okay, I'm gonna ham it up and make some real cringy comments so they can't use any of the footage. Hello. It sure is hot today, huh? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? Uh, anyway... Since you're here for the festival, does that mean you and your friends there are meat lovers? Uh... I'd say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> sweets are just to die for. <laughs> well, uh... Thank you very much for your time. Whew, that was too close. That was truly cringeworthy. But are you certain that they won't air any of it? I'm pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. More important than that, though, it's time to get some meat! Oh, right! My kebab! The lines for the food stalls were even more insane than the heat! Standing around in this sweltering heat was rather trying. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out! I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Even still, an occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. How mysterious. That's pretty poetic, dude. Well, I came all the way out here, so we might as well go check that thing out. What thing? I heard they're building some kind of huge-ass stadium or something nearby. Wait, was that what it was? You don't know what you're talking about, do you? A stadium? Well, such buildings often have intriguing architecture. I'd love to see it for personal reference. Yeah, then come on, let's go! So, that's it? They barely even started? We seem to be premature spectators. I guess this is what people call jumping the gum. Jumping the gun. Eh, there ain't nothing to do here. You want to go grab a bite somewhere? Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work on. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. Even if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water and a hot towel. Ah, uh, well, in that case, probably ought to just call it quits for today. Hmm? Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? Don't you think she's acting strange? You know, she did mention something about a meat earlier. Uh, ain't you guys headed home? Huh? Hmm. Huh. Well, see you then. Yes. Catch you later. 
Senpai? Yes. Uh, did you come to see the stadium, too? Same here. I needed to give myself a pep talk. Sometimes, when things get me down, I come here. Although, that doesn't really answer your question, does it? I know this may get in the way of your plans, but would you be willing to join me for lunch? Whew, that was delicious! always like this after a meet. In all honesty, I'd like to keep going, but any more will end up harming my performance. Simply put, it was a disaster. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, Senpai. But when the moment of truth arrived, my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it to. Yes, I've really hit a wall with this. Something similar happened to me in middle school, but back then, I had someone by my side that kept me going. <sighs> I... have a younger sister. We promised each other that we'd win international gymnastics competitions together. But this spring, she died in an accident. I promised her we'd take the gold for our routines across the world, but I can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately. I've really been throwing myself into practice, but I wonder if even that won't be enough. Senpai... You're right, it's just getting started. You just keep on rescuing me, don't you? Okay, no more brooding. There are still more meets left this year. I'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as I can. Thank you so much for listening to all that. Now I feel like I've been recharged. Mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> well, at least my mind and spirit are recharged. The best way to stave off hunger is with some vigorous activity. I'm going to jog home. Take care. God, I kind of sympathize with Kasumi. I don't want to go into too much detail, but I've been there before. Everyone's like, man, you got this. There's no way you can like mess up. And then you totally screw up and you got to come back home and be like, hey, uh, it didn't work out and all those <laughs> anyways craft sucks been there before so i kind of relate but uh still a fun day how could you huh what are you talking about i talk to kasumi all the time if we're going to the summer festival why didn't you invite me what did you say how does mishima know about the festival <laughs> oh no they're showing it on tv Something about it being hot in December or saying sweets are to die. Oh no. <laughs> There's a bit with Sakamoto saying some really crazy stuff. My god. He wasn't cringy enough. Dang it! I should have took over! Mission, what are you talking about? Uh, don't worry about it. Look, my point is, next time you guys are out having fun, can I come along too? I'm the fan of these producer, you know? Yeah, I mean, it was kind of a short-term notice. You're kidding me? Hope Lady On and the others haven't found out. It's okay. Even if they did. I mean, we're all in this together, right? For you, Jack Silly, so will I. That's what homies do, but... Tonight, guys, we're gonna need to go visit... Clearly, the most attractive girl in the game. Just kidding. I only visit her for the stats. I don't like her like that or anything. Um... Gotta do this before we forget. And then we're actually gonna run over and meet Chihaya again because it's Sunday. 
this Sunday, so we can do a very frick actually no, what's it called? I forget. Whatever. Point is, we want to get a charm boost today, so back to Shinjuku, Mifune. We're gonna see her a lot in this playthrough. Also, hi Mishima. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm such a third. The the, the intro is. I'm kind of. Well, it's not important. Just know it's all a joke with Mishima. We just spent 10,000 yen like it was nothing. God, it's kind of crazy. But yeah, like I said before, charm. That's the boost you want today, cause well, we're doing the sun confidant. Hmm. <gasps> the devil card. It seems you will greatly benefit from taking actions that'll increase your charm. All right, I'll keep that in mind. It's like I planned it or something. We could see the text conversation with Yoshida, but I think this time around he has a new speech, so I kind of want to fast travel to the square and hear that. It's kind of the whole point of his confidant, right? So, dang. Recording's getting kind of big, and we've only d we haven't even done two confidants yet. Holy crud. But, hey, man. What's going on? Everyone. Facing civil disorder and economic uncertainty, our citizens are in turmoil. It is imperative that we resolve this situation and social reform must be led by the government. However, who can the people currently depend on? Yes, the Phantom Thieves! The fact that they're being lionized is proof that the government is malfunctioning. Tell them. Mismanagement by authority figures. It's what has led to this terrible condition. Good evening. Oh, hello there. <laughs> hey. What kind of friends do you spend your time with? Cringe lords, you can withstand difficult times if you have friends who support you through them. I'll be giving a speech again today. I've, I'll select you to come with me. Yeah, let's get to it. What's up, man? Actually, oh, never mind. Dai Man Matsushita asked me to meet after this. You remember how he asked me to become his right hand man? Well, he likely wants my answer, so. I'll need you to come with me after the speech. All right, I guess we can do that. What's going on? Oh. What's wrong? What did you ask me here to discuss? I heard you met with Kuramoto's grandson. You have ears to the ground, huh? <laughs> and to think that he's the candidate the party's backing to ruin my chances of winning. Mm. I'll be completely straight with you since I already asked you to be my right-hand man. We're currently fighting the Kuramoto group. Whoa. What? Uh, uh, you're fighting with Mr. Kuramoto? But he... Uh... I have my ambitions of my own, you know. I owe him for all he did for me, but I don't want him to have influence over me forever. That's a good point. All the more, now that he's secretly working with Diet members from other parties. I know he asked you to join his group. I think you should decline his offer. Uh, uh, uh yeah. Mm. About that. Hmm. They want to keep you on a leash. So you won't reveal any damaging information. What information are you talking about? The real culprit of the expense misappropriation case you were blamed for. Is old man Kuramoto. <gasps> what in the world? Oh, 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 what did you say? I searched through the parties off the record accounts from 20 years ago. There's no doubt. Can you still forgive him? He led you into the political world and kicked you out in the worst way. But why? Seems he bought his popularity. And as a result, he was having some serious financial trouble. I see. It sounds as if you're saying that this is my opportunity to clear my name. And so you need an answer from me on whether or not I'll be your right-hand man, yes? Well, his grandson has already tried to persuade you. Therefore, I can't wait any longer. How'd you know? If you join me, you can accuse Kuramoto of his crime. You can clear your name and put no good tour behind you. This is your best and last chance. Join with Matsushita and take my revenge against Mr. Kuramoto, but... Drop out of the election. Oh man, come on. Don't, you're not gonna do it, are you? Do what you gotta do. It's a good deal. Now I think about the future. However, Atsushita, 
I appreciate the offer, but I must refuse. Uh, you have no conceivable reason to refuse! My goal is to become a Diet member. Not a right-hand man. I will not cast aside my beliefs. On that I stand firm. This information will be the deciding factor in taking down Kuramoto. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I was simply offering you a deal. I assumed you might decline it. <laughs> it's just the guy he is. Very well. Please forget it. I apologize for bringing it up so suddenly. I'll talk to the party. And provide support for your next speech about the Phantom Thieves. What the crud? Hmm? Why are you doing this? I don't want to debate about the Phantom Thieves. I simply want to draw attention to them. And you can assert your innocence there. On a grand stage. Dang. To be frank, I'll be happy as long as the Kuramoto's group influence diminishes. You. Don't speak a word of this to anyone. For both our sakes. <laughs> you know you don't gotta tell me? Very well then. Dang. <sighs> that was kinda cool, Yoshida. Seems like I'm caught in a political crossfire conspiracy. My friend is trying to take advantage of me. While my former mentor is trying to win me over. <sighs> to achieve my dream. I have to set aside my beliefs. What should I do? Well, you can't do that. Come on, man. He didn't win your way. Is it winning at all? Come on. Yes. You're right. Betraying myself means betraying my supporters. Which is also means betraying you. Oh, come on, man. For some reason, just talking with you always helps me make up my mind. It's as if my heart's being... Manipulated. Hmm. Perhaps. Uh. If the Phantom Thieves truly do exist, then I'm sure they're very much like you. Whoa. <laughs> For some reason, you stood by me. No good Torah. You didn't have any supporters. Actually. I've been thinking about this for a while, actually. You must have experienced cruelty and injustice in this life. I can tell by the look in your eyes. That's why I sense your desire to help the weak. Well, you're, uh, you're getting warm. Uh, and the strength to stand up to hecklers, to Matsushita, and to Kuramoto's grandson. You're no ordinary high school student. Even I know that much. Uh, what? You care to talk about it? I, I can't put you in danger, man. I'm so, uh, he got the wrong guy. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Just a joke. <laughs> Sorry. I crossed the line there. I've always liked restraint in these situations. See what I did there? I relieved the tension by making fun of myself. You did? Think of it as an advanced technique for winning people over. So I gotta be funny to get people to follow my ideals. Okay. If only there's a word for that. Oh yeah, mind control, apparently. All right. <laughs> Make fun of yourself and manipulate anyone around you. But no, seriously, that is really a really nice ability to have for the future. You're right. All right then. Well, at least make good use of Matsushita's help setting up my next speech. I feel like I'll be able to fully express my belief you're there with me. I shall ask you we again can discuss it again at the speech. All right, man. You got my phone number? Hit me up. But no, seriously, I'm not a... I'm, I'm not... I'm definitely not the leader of the Phantom Thieves. I might, like, be one of their, like, you know, backup singers, but... Uh, well, then, I'll see you again. Good work today. Dude, how did he figure that out? Is Yoshida actually just that smart? Or I don't know. It's fun to think about, I guess. Thank you for tagging along. Goodness. I've... Gotten you wrapped up in my whole messy past now, huh? Yeah, just a little bit. I told you before, becoming a die member shouldn't be your only goal in life. I'll stand by those words, of course. But what are your thoughts on what happened today? Uh, say you were in my shoes. Could you say with all confidence that you wouldn't be swayed by such a lucrative deal? Humans are easily swayed. 
One glimpse of a temptation could be all it takes to make us forget our principles. That is true. That is why you must never forget what's truly important to you. Understand? Yeah, man. Seriously. Thanks. It's a life lesson I'll never forget. Good. <laughs> life is full of tough decisions. I can only hope today's lesson will nourish your growth. Man. He's too much. I love this guy. Well, the real battle begins now. I need to devote myself to this fully. After all, I can hardly afford to disappoint you. All right. See you next time. I'll be counting on you. All right, man. Best of luck. No, he's got a good point. Sometimes it is hard to resist temptation. Especially that much. And Oh, hey. Senpai. Thank you so much for earlier. It's cool. Now I can give it 110% tomorrow at practice. But, you know... You should have some rest days, Kasumi. Those are important. You gotta heal, right? Nope. If I take a day off, it'll dull my senses. What? Next meet, I'll make it into the winner's podium, I swear. I won't slip up again, like I did before. I'll have some great news next time. I'll see you, promise. Hey. Looks like Yoshi's always going to be okay now. She shouldn't push herself too hard. She sure had us worried. God dang it. Why do I feel suddenly so uneasy? Whatever. It's her life. She knows what she's doing. She's the Olympic stinking future Olympic champion. Who am I to tell her what to do? Come on. Oh my god, this phone. Today's the firework festival. That's me and Shibuya at five. Hey Makoto, are you gonna wear a yukata? I'm planning on it. Oh snap. Yukatas are a great part of the summer tradition. They truly heighten a woman's beauty. I can't agree more. I think I'll wear mine as well. What? You got one? Uh, how about you? I mean, I got one back home, but I didn't pack that with me. Essentials and all that. Hey, I know. Why don't you come without your glasses? <laughs> What's the point in that? I don't know. You don't get to see fireworks every day, so it'd be sad just wearing normal clothes. I was thinking he might want to go for a change of pace. That sounds great. You should totally come without your glasses. What the, okay. Well, guys better not be late. Fireworks and Yukatas really added the feeling of summer. Even Lady On will be wearing one. <laughs> come to think of it. Oh, yeah. There's a fireworks festival today, huh? You're going to be careful. Those things can get insanely crowded. Yeah, I'll try my best. Hey. Be nice to watch the fireworks with the Chief someday. We could watch them right here at LeBlanc. Actually, no, we couldn't. Yeah. Maybe some other time. He's got a store to run after all, but... Feels bad, but yo, rent ain't cheap! Right when we were just about to leave, too. Who is it? Do you even have to ask? Hey, I saw some disturbing news online. It sounds like it'll be really bad if it turns out true. What are you talking about? Someone... The mementos or something? Well, it seems like an insane group is getting ready to declare war on the Phantom Thieves. What? I was afraid to just hold on to the info myself, so I wanted to tell you at least. That's actually all I have to say. Sorry to bother you on your day off. What could he mean by an insane group? Let's think about this after we get back. We don't have much time, so let's get going. Hot. The holiday means it's as crowded on here as it is for morning rush hour. Wait, so all these people are going to the fireworks festival? Ugh, this should be fun. So hot. I feel like I'm being baked. Those girls are way too late. It must be taking time for them to put on the yukata. Why aren't you two wearing one? I got clothes like yukata. 
Man, you look way too normal in that. People often say that to me. Oh, by the way, the exams. I bet you got a big fat F on them. Shut up! We... we don't know that yet. Are you going to the fireworks festival? That's right. Us too! Wanna go together? Are we... getting hit on? <laughs> Come on, let's go together. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that yukata. Waiting around to pain, so can we just go with these chicks? A chance like this never comes up. That's enough. You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. How could you? Why don't you go after them then? So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji. Uh, well, no, that, that, that's... You know, Yusuke's such a pretty boy, but he is really missing out because of what he says. I guess. But he's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. Definitely more than somebody I know. I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. Oh? Mona, you little... Hey, it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Agreed. But, man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty. Like you need help? Then yeah. why don't you go buy me a towel already, huh? Yeah, <laughs> we're just trying to get out of the rain, but look how crowded it is. I guess everyone had the same idea. What's up? Hmm. I think I just saw someone I know. You mean the girl in that black car? Well, she's got a ride. Oh, time to show your skills, Mona. We need you as a car. It's not possible in the real world. My feet hurt. It's cold. The festival's been canceled. This sucks. Made such a commotion with the public, and this is what we get? <sighs> Lame. Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? What are you, Moss? I want to change the world with a loud bang, like a huge firework. Then again, we aren't going to find someone bigger than Kanashiro that easily. The rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. Yeah, let's go home. So you won't tell me, no matter what? I have nothing more to say to you about that. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. Huh? What's that supposed to... Thanks for the drink. Hey, 
Hey, we're not done here yet. No, you moron. It's past closing time. Clean up the place. Regrettably, the cause behind the recent psychotic breakdown incidents is still unknown. On to other news. The international hacktivist group Medjid has released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. Mm -hmm. These are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. To the Phantom Thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. Phantom Thieves again? However, we are magnanimous. We will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. If you reject our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. Justice, huh? We are Medjid. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Akechi-san, why do you think this announcement was made at this time? I don't know the details. But there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry, or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Regardless, it's quite a nuisance. A nuisance? Both Mejed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. What a stupid thing they're getting riled up on. Phantom Thieves, huh? What in the world are they? You know about them? I'm the one asking you. Don't return a question with another question. Well, it's about time I go home. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in the fridge. Well, I guess it's fine. Just don't use too much of it. It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear due to their influence. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime. Of that scene it's just so nice and oddly very realistic sometimes when you go out with your friends it's like yeah we gotta have so much fun frick it's raining we gotta go back inside <laughs> maybe that's just the florida life but uh man the girls in their yukatas whoo makoto's look pretty nice on her and oh crap there's stuff going on in the chat room what's up y'all you dry yo we gotta talk about Medjet. oh yeah you mean those guys people are going nuts over online? Nejet. That name seems to come from one of the obscure gods from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. How do you know that? I saw the news too. For some reason, they think we speak of false justice. Now then, what exactly did you want to speak regarding Medjet? Well, why don't we go after them as our next target? Uh, what a sudden suggestion. I mean, they're like bad hackers or something, right? Technically, they're crackers. Whoa, whoa, Makoto, you can't, what, uh. Those who use the internet to illegally access and alter data. Oh, that's what you meant, okay. Medjet is an organized group of such people recognized for the larger international community. So they operate on a global scale. That makes them even bigger than Kaneshiro. Yeah, right? It's settled. Our next target's gonna be Medjet. Dude, that's gonna be tough. I wonder if the nav will get a hit if we put Medjet in. All right. Guys, we, we can't do that. We also need a location and a name. It's not that easy. Yes, the name has to be a pseudonym. We don't know how many people Medjet is. Uh, oh. Why don't we get at least one member info if we try and look into it? Even if we did. How would we discover their location? The only confirmed presence of Medjet has been online. Yeah, our powers are kind of useless. There's a greater problem than finding their keywords. Unless you have any more ideas, Ryuji. Uh, hello? <laughs> it seems you had suggested this without putting much thought into it. Come on, we can't back down now. People are all excited about it. Our reputation's gonna plummet if we don't face this crap. 
You're right. That is true. If we remain silent, people would believe we simply chose to run away from the matter. Medjet has taunted us publicly after all. Yeah. If they are criminals, we cannot just let them be. Right. Yeah. And we don't have any other targets right now either. Hey, let's talk to Mishima tomorrow. It's more his thing. Wait a minute. You don't think. Maybe he's behind it? Whoa. That'd be scary. Doubt it, dude. Also, Makoto, try seeing if your sister has any info on him. Good idea. It's highly unlikely, but sure. A world-class target, huh? If we can change Medjed's heart, it'll most definitely affect Mementos. You got a point. That's like international fame, in a sense. So far, all of our targets have been Japanese, but at the same time, how do you even start that? It's kind of a tricky situation, but if we can do it, that means we can unlock more mementos, and that's good for Morgana. So, I mean, <laughs> there's no reason not to try, right? But how will the Phantom Thieves get out of this one? Can we do it? Well, find out next time in Persona 5 Royal. Bye.